Hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to my Expanded Universe, a show where I go through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. I miss my Ewok. I also miss talking about the Jedi Quest series. But we must move on, and move on we shall, with The Eyes of Revolution by Warren Fu. It was in the Star Wars Visionaries book, uh, and it features General Grievous and basically gives us an origin of him. Now. If you don't have Visionaries, because I know it's kind of hard to find, I believe they included this in Wild Space Volume 2, The Omnibus by Dark Horse. Remember, I bought The Omnibus for the Podracer Tales, and I think that Visionary stories, or a lot of those, were in there. Uh, this is really interesting because it's a story about General Grievous, kind of, well, kind of before General Grievous, how he became General Grievous, and I found it really interesting. It's short, and there's not much to it. But if you're a General Grievous fan, you want to know more about him, then yeah, this short story is for you. Okay, so the next one. You have to go to Star Wars Tales, issue number 12, for a Jedi's weapon. It was written by Henry Gilroy, and in this one, Anakin gets his lightsaber stolen on a planet where stealing things is part of their tradition or something. I don't know. Uh, folks, you know how I feel about Star Wars Tales. I hated most of them. This is no exception to the rule. I, I thought this was dumb. It's cartoony. It wasn't that good. Dark Horse put it out as their free comic book day. I remember going to the store going, Yay, free Star Wars comic book! Oh no, it's the crappy story from Tales. And I put it right back on the shelf. <laughs> I did not want it. Uh, I already had it in Star Wars Tales anyway. So, but I did not like it at all. I, I thought it was kind of dumb. Uh, people argued whether it was can or not, and then someone said, no, it is, look, because it's in the visual guide. Uh, you know, it, it, I think they mentioned Anakin losing his lightsaber on this planet, and you're going, oh, rats. <laughs> now it is can regardless. But it's really just a silly story. Uh, it fits in chronologically about right here, but uh, honestly, there's nothing to the story, and it's not really that good. So let's switch gears to a comp book that is good. It's called Starfighter Crossbones. Now, it was a three-issue series written by Hayden Blackman, and it's based off the character Nim. And this series is like a spin-off of the video game Starfighter. Now, I never played the video game, so I don't know what it was like. But when I first saw that comic book, I was very skeptical. I was like, come on, they can do comic books about anyone. They want to do a comic book about some crappy video game. I didn't play the video game, so it may not be crappy. But I was like, some character from some video game, this does not look interesting at all. And I was so wrong. I love Nim. Nim's one of those uh, EU characters who I felt needed to be explored even more. He was an awesome character. That three-part series just blew me away. It was really good, really interesting, very entertaining. I don't think I should give out too many spoilers from it because it is just three comic book issues. But uh, it basically is centered around him and adventure with him. And it was really good. Now, the writing is really good because Hayden Blackman, folks, is an excellent writer. Uh, he already did uh, some of the Django Fett books I talked about earlier. Uh, he's done some other Clone Wars comp books I haven't talked about yet that are fantastic. And I know I've sung the praises of John Ostrander before, but Hayden Blackman is, al is also another author that I really, really, really enjoyed when it came to comic books. I thought he wrote a lot of good stuff. If you're unsure about what he wrote, check out Wikipedia and make a mental list to see if you agree. Most of the stuff that he wrote is really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, he knows how to write characters. Uh, characters like Nim, who in my opinion didn't look or seem that he would be that interesting and really was. So the Starfighter three-part series is actually worth your time to read. In fact, out of all three of them, it'd probably be the most worth your time, the ones I mentioned today. Uh, Visionaries is good too, you know, like I said, if only if you like General Grievous. If you're not really a General Grievous fan, I'd probably skip that one as well. All right, folks, that is all the time I have for today. We will see you next week. Is that the doorbell? Who are you?